from fire extinguishers to window frames, we'll count down seven of the most odd and unusual deaths ever recorded. Let's begin. Number seven. In 1923, George Herbert died from a mosquito bite after cutting it while shaving. He then became seriously infected with erysipelas, which then led to blood poisoning and eventually pneumonia. Another situation where Aragard would have been a simple solution. Number six. Tom Price was a Welsh Formula One driver who was killed after being struck on the head by a fire extinguisher going 270 kilometers per hour. Now you might be wondering, how does a fire extinguisher go that fast? Magic! Actually, Price hit and killed a marshal who was heroically running across the track to extinguish a burning car. And on that note, I'm a horrible person. Rest in peace, champions. Number five. In 1926, Queensland teenager Philip McLean became the only person to ever be killed by a cassowary. McLean and his brother decided it would be fun to try and kill the animal, but after striking it, it knocked him down and kicked him, slashing his neck and opening one of his main arteries. He managed to get back on his feet and run, but collapsed and died shortly after. To be honest, I think he deserved it because everyone knows you don't mess with birds. Number four. In the 90s, 38-year-old lawyer Gary Hoy fell to his death after throwing himself against a window on the 24th floor of the Toronto Dominion Center. This was done in an attempt to show a group of visitors that the glass was unbreakable. And he was right. The glass didn't break, it just popped out of the window frame and he fell to his death. But you know what? I like to think he proved a pretty solid point. Number three. In 1983, Charles Helovic and three other divers were undergoing a regular decompression procedure aboard the oil rig Byford Dolphin. They were then accidentally exposed to an eight atmosphere change in air pressure, explosively forcing Helovic through a 60 centimeter wide hole, violently dismembering him. His remains were scattered throughout the entire system, and I included this because a fully grown man was literally forced through a small tube. That's unusual. Number two. 45 year old Mario D'Azusa was in bed with his wife when a cow fell through the ceiling and killed him. It didn't like break through and stab him. Like their house backed onto a steep hill and it's believed the cow climbed onto their roof and then the one and a half ton animal fell eight feet straight onto him. And the owner of the cow might be charged with involuntary manslaughter. Number one. In 1567, Heinz Steininger tripped on his own beard and snapped his neck. His killer 1.5 meter long facial accessory usually remained rolled up in a leather pouch, but on that day, he just didn't. This is made even more epic by the fact he looked like a thug. You go, Hans. You go. And there you have it, 10 odd and unusual deaths. Now don't trip over your beard champions, click the subscribe button and chuck a like. I'll see you next time, Zack Attack out.